How goes the family? Welcome back to Larry's Anything Goes. Hopefully you guys are having a great day. Today's word of the day is credit. Now, the definition of the word credit is the ability of a customer to obtain goods or services before payment based on the trust. A payment will be made in the future. I'm no economist, but everybody knows that you have to have some sort of decent credit um, before COVID, during COVID, and after COVID. Why? Well, if you're interested, you know, but before, after I go why, I'm going to talk about something that's funny. So the why is obviously people have to have decent credit if they want to get a good loan on a house, car, business, okay? And even a lot of times with business, you can't just have personal credit. You got to have established business credit, okay? That's why a lot of people end up getting, um, they end up getting, after they open up their own business, they open up a credit card within the business and whatnot so they can spend money and establish business credit. I've done that myself on this little thing, but hey, I have business credit. So why is business credit just as important as personal credit? Well, hey, if you need to get a loan towards your business, you gotta establish some sort of credit, just like you get, you know, establish credit for yourself. Because it's funny, me, I barely, I had one credit card and, you know, did not have a long credit history when I bought my first credit, bought my first house. And obviously the lending institution did not like the fact that I did not have any credit bills, no student loans, no car payments, you know, no nothing. You know what I mean? So they frowned upon that, ironically. But the funny thing is you need, you need credit for those things, right? Business loans, personal home loans, car loans, equity loans, equity lines of credit, you know, things of that nature. But you can get up to 100, 50 to 80 to 100 thousand dollars of student loan money with no credit. Now I'm just saying I just think I just find that to be interesting. <laughs> you can get that access to that kind of money for education, but when it comes to you starting a business, getting a home loan and a car loan, you have to have a um, series of credit history. So I just find that to be funny. That's all I can say. I leave it at that. So yeah, that's. Uh, Credit is obviously very important, you know, because you want to be able to get access to capital, access to certain things, you know, because a lot, you know, the name of the game in the U.S. is how, what can I, OPM, other people's money. How can I borrow other people's money, things of that nature? Um, do I have a good credit history? And a lot of times, and sometimes you don't even have to have good credit because it depends on the situation, especially in real estate, you can get what they call hard money loans or whatnot. Now, the interest rates would be way higher then it would be a regular loan if you had good credit. But a lot of times you can get up to 200,000, depending on the situation, 300,000 to a million dollars, you know, in, of a hard money loan. But the purpose of it obviously is so that you can pay off the deals much quicker and whatnot, pay, you know, pay off the loan very quickly with the high interest and all that good stuff. Because that's the whole purpose, you know, of people doing a hard money loan so that they can go outside of the box of the quote unquote, lending institutions like you know the Wells Fargo's Bank of America's etc and so forth you know so credit is very important definitely behoove anyone to uh, make sure that they keep a decent credit score because you never know uh, when things will happen like COVID-19 or anything else where you might need access to even capital um, you know you in case an emergency happens you know medical needs things of that nature you know you want, you want to be able to have a, a line of credit or whatnot. If the interest is the best, hey, it's better than having zero access to zero. That's just my personal thing. So I'm going to quote Kevin O'Leary from Shark Tank, one of my favorite shows. He said it, and I quote, I like to take risks. That's how I make money. But they're calculated risks. A lot of times, you, you one does that with their credit. I've seen people max out their credit cards in order for them to buy an investment property, or they max out the credit card in order for them to start the business. But obviously, they took the calculated risk and they looked at it as more of a sure thing than, than just a big, big risk and whatnot. So do your best to take your own calculated risk, contact and consult with your financial professionals, and go from there. All right? So do the great three free things, family. Like, share, and subscribe. And as always, have a great day. I will see you guys tomorrow. Take care.